You guys, I finally did my neon smoke nails and I am so happy with the way they turned out. Stay tuned if you would like to watch how I did these nails. So while I am showing you the beginning of this video, um, I'm just trying to get things set up, put my gloves on, all of that good stuff. So I figured I'd take this time to explain what's going on. And uh, these two nails that you see here are my practice nails. Um, I use these BT Art Box Square. They are a little bit longer. I would say they're about medium length uh, when they're actually on the nail. I don't display that today, what they look like. but. Um, I use Model 1's nail primer, base coat, and basically their entire system. These are also two Model 1's colors, number 620 and 629. I think these bottles are really cute. They came in a set. I tried to link stuff below in my last video, and it wouldn't let me link it, um, which made me really kind of upset because I was, I wanted to give everyone um, where I found those everything I used on Amazon, but it wasn't letting me link them, so hopefully it works for this video. But um, I did go in with two coats of these colors. One was gray and one was black. I love the neon colors on both of them. I did not use my glow-in-the-dark pigments. I just used my regular neon pigments um, that you'll see later on in the video. I pause on those once I get to those. This black is absolutely amazing. I love Model 1's black. Um, it goes on very nice and even. I never have any problems with it. Um... I always do darker colors in two layers, or, and I cure each layer for 60 seconds. The reason being is because um, you don't want your you want it to cure completely, and you don't want it to bubble up or anything. So, with darker pigments and darker colors, I do cure it for 60 seconds each. With the practice nails, I did go in with the Model 1's matte top coat to put the white over it, and I did not like it at all. Um, I actually threw it in the trash after I was done using it. I don't know what it is, but their matte top coat is always really streaky. I think they have like a new formula or something like that now, but yeah, no. Um, also, the reason why I practiced is because I did not blend these colors very well, or as well as I would like to also gave me a chance to get the pigment that I wanted like like how much pigment should I use like do my pigment to color ratio um, and and how do you blend them so I went big or I always go big or go home and I decided to try all six colors at the same time I ended up canceling out the yellow so on the black nail I do go in and I only use two colors but um, this is, I actually did a full set today. I did not use these two nails in the set, but you will see them later on um, with the rest of the set. So I really enjoyed doing these and they turned out really pretty and I can't wait to get these up for sale. So after I apply the powder, I did have to go in with some alcohol and clean around the matte top coat. Um, when I did the full set later on, I actually used a shiny top coat instead of a matte. Um, and the powder actually just wiped right off of the shiny top coat. So this really was a lot of trial and error for me. I do not recommend using a matte top coat. The reason why I put a top coat before I put the white on is because... Um, for the simple fact you don't want the powder to stick to the black part or the gray part or whatever color you're using underneath 
you want it to um, you want the pigment powder to be able to wipe off or wipe away from the top coat so matte top coat did not work for me but the shiny top coat worked wonderful it was much easier to spread the white on um, I use rubbing alcohol to give it the smoke effect as well I don't really like using acetone I'm not a fan of acetone I don't really see the point in using something that could potentially wipe away all of the work that you just did. I always use 70% alcohol and it helps blend the polish and give it that smoky look, but it's not going to wash away or eat away at anything that you just laid. Because if you think about it, acetone is what makes you, um, or what helps you soak off acrylic and gel polish. So if it's something that's going to soak it off or ruin it or damage anything underneath what I just did, then it's kind of pointless <laughs> to use acetone in my opinion. So um, I always use 70% alcohol when I'm trying to correct or change anything when it comes to gel polish. So I am team alcohol. I'll go ahead and speed up the black nail and me putting it on the black nail and then also get into the rest of the video and the full set that I did. Thank you so much for watching. Um, again, I wish everyone well. I hope everybody stays healthy in this crazy time that we're in. I appreciate all of the support. I'll put all of my links to my website throughout the video and hopefully in the description box down below. And um, I will see you guys next time.